Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So good day again everyone. Today we will be learning how to add and subtract polynomials. So as we have discussed from the previous activity, we are adding and subtracting similar terms. Okay. Same goes when it comes to adding and subtracting polynomials. The main concept that we will be um, dealing with would be um, similar terms. So let me just remind you a little bit about similar terms. Similar terms are terms with the let's write it down. Are terms with the same variable and exponent. Now, as for that, what the only thing that you are evaluating when it comes to similar terms are just simply the numerical coefficients. Okay, so meaning you need to operate on the numerical coefficient based on if it is addition or subtraction, and of course you have to be careful with the sign that will um, appear after you have um, evaluated your numerical coefficients. Okay, and as for the variable and exponent, you just simply have to copy them. Um, variable and exponent, same. Okay, so for example, let's just have a quick one. Okay, so what happens here is I will just simply evaluate since all the terms here are all similar terms I need to evaluate only the numerical coefficient so for me to have a good picture of that I will just simply write only the numbers and of course if there is none it's automatically 1 so 3 plus 4 is of course 7 and 7 minus 7 the answer is 0 and 0 plus 1 the answer is just simply equals to one. And again, you copy the variable and exponent. Do not add the exponent, giving an answer of x squared. Because again, in mathematics, we do not write the one anymore. This one, okay? If it has, if it has a variable next to it. So let's start our very first example. Let me just clear the screen. Just this part only. Okay. Let's clear this part. Okay, so let's start with our first example being 5p squared minus 3 plus 2p squared minus 3p cubed. Now, when it comes to these cases, since we are adding polynomials, you will notice that every given that will be provided to you will be separated by a parenthesis if it is written um, in a straight equation. So, straight equation meaning from left up until right. Okay, straight. Now, um, there are two ways that I will be teaching you today. The first way would be by grouping. Okay? And the next way would be by aligning. Okay? So, what do we do by grouping? What we, what we do by grouping is, um, firstly, we check if the operation is addition or subtraction. Since in this case, the main operation here outside is addition, therefore, we don't need to do anything. But later on in subtraction, you, I will show you what happens to the next polynomial. So what happens here is you group them. If it is addition, you group them. And always take the sign. So I'll just have a note here. Take the operation as a sign when <coughs> grouping. Okay. So who in your operation as a sign when you are grouping? So what happens here would be um, first group, you will take a look at the given 5p squared which one is similar is a similar term to 5p squared. So all p squareds will be similar. So giving you 5p squared and this one positive still positive 2p squared. So you will group them together and grouping requires you to use the grouping symbols natin, which is of course the parentheses, the brackets and braces. Next one. Always addition sa labas. Okay? So, the next group would be negative 3. So, you ask yourself, is there any one that is similar with negative 3? So therefore, there's no um, similar term for the negative 3. So, let's have it as negative 3. Then, we have again addition always to operation outside. Then, we group now which one else is not grouped. So, that would be negative 3p cube. Okay? So, let's check whether negative 3p cube has any group. Um, seeing that there is no p cube here anywhere else. So, we will take it as 1. So, meaning here on this case, in our first given, 
the only group, okay, the only similar term, or the only group with similar term here would be the p squareds. So we need to evaluate the p squareds. So p squareds will just simply be 5p squared plus 2p squared, that would be 7p squared. Now remove the parentheses. Next, we have plus negative 3. I've told you before that any plus minuses okay, will be automatically converted to a minus. So minus 3 plus minus 3p cubed. So that would be minus 3p cubed. And just for formality, we always arrange our given from highest degree, highest degree, to the lowest degree. I'm oh, sorry. So what do we mean by that? You arrange the given from highest exponent to the lowest exponent with the note of the same. Same note. You always need to take the operation as a sign when you rearrange. So what happens here would be this one is taken as a whole because that's a minus 3p cubed. So you always take the operation. It's negative 3p cubed. This one has no sign. Automatically, no sign means positive. So you have plus 7p squared. And since this one is minus 3, so that would be minus 3. And this would be your final answer. So let's have another one. See, so our given is um, a cubed minus 2a squared. Okay, minus 3a squared minus 4a cubed. So again, now, um, a while ago, I told you that the oper when it comes to subtraction, the operation will be different. Okay? Because again, um, there's a special rule in subtraction, and I think this is only one, and I've told you this before, that you only always need to change the sign of the subtrahend. Same goes when it comes to polynomials because that is for um, integral numbers. Integral, yeah. Integral numbers. So this one is polynomials. The rules will stay the same. So the again, the rule will be change the sign of, of the subtrahend. And the subtrahend is this entire thing. 3a squared minus 4a cubed. So you need to change the sign of the entire subtrahend, giving you... Again, there are only two signs lang naman. So, when you change the sign, this becomes the opposite. Negative 3a squared. And this is plus 4a cubed. Change the sign only. From positive to negative, And from negative to positive. Next. After you change the sign, proceed to addition always. Now, I did told you a while ago that when you are in addition, you can group now. So, let's try grouping. And always remember, you always need to take the sign before the term. So, this is the term. This is its sign, the negative here. Okay? So, let's write the group now. A cube. Which one is similar to A cube on the other side or may it be on um, the first group? So, that would be positive 4A. Oops, that's A. 4A cube. Okay? And then, the sign always outside is plus. So, let's try to get the next group. Negative 2A squared. Um, this is um, the partner of this one. Okay, similar term would be on the other side, it's negative 3a squared. So that's minus 3a squared. And um, all members of the first group and second group have their groups already or they are already rewritten below here. Yeah. So now we can start with the addition of, uh, not necessarily addition, combination of the similar terms. Because you're combining whether they are addition or subtraction. So now let's uh, take a look at the first one, the a cubes. a cubes would be 1 plus 4 a cubed, or just 4. And 1 plus 4 is just simply 5, and just simply copy, or what, I'm just writing the equals, copy the, sorry, it's 5. Just simply copy the variable and exponent. Okay, so a cubed plus 4a cubed is simply 5a cubed. Okay, then we have plus this one, negative 2a squared minus 3a squared. So this would be negative 2 minus 3. And negative 2 minus 3, since they are, yung sinabi ko sa inyo before, that if you see 2 minus here, 2 negatives here, then you just simply have to combine them together, giving you an answer of negative 5 a squared. Copy the variable and exponent. And lastly, 
for um just for formality lang all plus minuses will be transformed as minus because this is plus and minus so it becomes just mere minus okay so this would be your final answer if and only if you have no similar terms visible here no similar terms visible here and all plus minuses are already converted into minus final answer okay so i hope that you got that so let's have another example for our um straight operation straight equation okay let's have something um little bit more uh, with more terms okay so let's say we have negative 4k raised to 4 plus 14 plus 3k squared minus negative 3k raised to 4 minus 14k squared minus 8 plus 5k parentheses okay so what again is the rule when it we have subtraction we just simply need to change the sign of the subtrahend the subtrahend is this one everything here everything here okay so what i need to do here is i just simply need to change the sign of everything giving us negative 4k raised to 4 plus 14 plus 3k squared i'm just rewriting this is would become positive 3k raised to 4 again a positive 14k squared positive 8 and negative 5k and again you simply proceed to addition now let's try to group okay so the first group would be the first term here but we go straight immediately negative 4k raised to 4 ang kagrupo niya it's group mates here or similar term on the other side would be 3k raised to 4 since that is positive so that would be 3k raised to 4 let me just move this a little bit so that um, our terms will fit in the screen. So, negative 4k raised to 4 and we have positive 3k raised to 4. Okay, next one we have, again, plus always, we have the 14. Now, 14 is similar to what on the other group? It's plus 8. So, constants or numbers with no variables will always be equals to numbers or similar, I mean, to numbers with no variables as well. Again, we have plus. We have 3k squared. 3k squared is similar to 14k squared because if they have both k squareds. Okay, good. Yeah. Then we have last one. Okay. Is there any other term here that is not taken? So, I believe it would be this one. The negative 5k. So, we, all, we have this plus negative 5k. No partner on the other group as well here. This negative 5k. So, it will be as is. Negative 5k. Then, we simply need to combine. Okay? So, negative 4k raised to 4 plus 3k raised to 4. That, that would be negative 4 plus 3. Giving you an answer of negative 1k raised to 4. Next, we have 14 plus 8. 14 plus 8 is this simply 22, I guess. Yeah. Plus 3k squared plus 14k squared, this would give you 3 plus 14. And 3 plus 14 is 17k squared. Then we have lastly the plus minus negative 5k. I mean plus negative 5k, I mean. So that would be minus 5k. So it would be the same. Uh, I mean uh, the plus minuses would be minus, I mean. And next one, the last rule is we need to arrange it in, not necessarily a rule, this is for formality. We need to arrange them from highest to lowest degree. Okay? Arranging from highest, highest, which is raised to 4, highest exponent. Next one is plus 17k squared. Next one is minus 5k. And last one is 22. Okay? Checking if your given is already arranged from highest to lowest degree. If you're already done, then this would be your final answer. Okay? So we have negative k raised to 4 plus 17k squared minus 5k plus 22. Okay? So that would be it. So now, the other method that I will be teaching you is the one called um, 
I don't know what necessarily what it's called, but it's just simply aligning them. Okay. So just like the usual um addition algorithm wherein you align the numbers okay um vertically okay so for us to get a better picture of that method let's uh, proceed to let's use the same example thing let's proceed to the uh, the other method okay so it's, we have number one again it's 5p squared minus 3 plus 2p squared minus 3p cubed Okay, so what would happen here would just would be we will take the first term and we will arrange it from highest to lowest degree. So we have negative 3 here. Okay, and then on the next term, what we need to do here is we need to arrange it from highest to lowest degree, aligning it, aligning it to the previous group. So what would happen here is since this 2p squared would be aligned here, on the 2p column, 2p squared column, so it would be here, 2p squared. Next, this negative 3p cube, it would be aligned nowhere, but since it is the highest, um, it's the highest degree, though, therefore it would go here in the front. Since 2p is positive, so therefore it's just simply plus. Now that it is aligned, what you need to do is you need to add vertically. So, if it has no partner, then bring it down. This one has a partner, so we need to add. So, this is 7p squared. And this is negative p cubed. Since this is again positive number, so we add a plus here. Giving us an answer of negative 3p cubed plus 7p squared minus 3. So, now the tricky part here is arrangement. So, you need to arrange properly talaga. Okay, if in any case that you need to move numbers, then you can just erase them. Okay, so next number two, let's have, I think our given is eight, this one. Okay, so the very first thing that we need to do here is we need to align. Okay, since that is minus, we will deal with that later. We need to align. So again, a cube is the highest, so it's okay. So una na siya. minus 2a squared. The next one is we need to arrange the other given. The other given, the highest degree is on the last part. So this should fall here. Sorry. Negative 4a cube. You always need to take again the sign or the operation before the number. And this one is negative 3a squared. So, this would fall here. Since that is not negative, that's positive, therefore that would be plus. And our operation is minus. And again, girls, what is, I mean, yeah, girls, 7 girls. What is the rule when it comes to subtraction? You change the sign of the subtrahend. So, this would become, um, what's the sign of this one? This would become minus and this would become positive. And you proceed to addition. And then again, combine vertically okay so this would give you an answer of negative 5a squared this would give you an answer of 5a cubed and it's i think it's the same as our answer before this would be our final answer for me i like on um, the vertical method why because it's already arranged from highest to lowest degree and at the same time um uh, it's you write very little because compared here you are actually writing step by step you write a lot but on this case it's very little lang, right i hope you could agree with me on that so next one you have number three let me just copy number three okay um, i believe it's negative 4k yes okay so it's for a while it's negative 4 k raised to 4 plus 14 plus sorry plus 3k squared minus negative 3k raised to 4 minus 14k squared let me fix my writing minus 14k squared minus 8 and I think it's plus 5k correct Oh, yes. Okay, next. 
we need to arrange okay so this would be negative 4k raised to 4 then we have plus 3k squared then we have plus 14 okay next one on the next group it's negative 3k raised to 4 then we have um, plus 4 uh, no, it's minus pala. minus 14k squared then we have negative 8 but this one plus 5k it should be here right mauna siya dapat so we just simply need to move so let me just move this one this is um my minus 8 and this is my plus 5k and this is my i don't know so, sorry sorry so this would be my plus 14 this would be my plus 5k and this would be my minus 8 so again there's a space here, it's okay. Kasi our aim here is to arrange the given immediately by highest, from, I mean, from highest to lowest. This is technically my 0 k okay? From lowest degree. Okay? So, uh, arranging them now, we proceed to the operation, which is, of course, subtraction. And the operation and subtraction, you need to change the sign, right? So, I'm going to change the sign here. Okay, so after you change the sign, proceed to addition, then you can now proceed to the addition of the numbers only. Okay, 14 plus 8 will give you 22. Negative 5, no partners, sad, but it will still be the same. 14 plus 3, the answer is um, 17k squared. Positive, yan, yeah, it's positive. And then this one, negative k raised to 4 plus 3k raised to 4, it will give you a negative k raised to 4. And this would be your final answer. Okay? So that would be the two methods of adding and subtracting um, polynomials. The very first one is the straight equation and the next one would be the vertical. Okay? So I do hope that you have learned something today. If you would be having any questions, you can contact me on our group. Um... Thank you for listening everyone and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.